The Dota 2 Battle Pass is here and everyone's excited, but guess what? There is something that no one is talking about that has completely changed everything with regards to Dota 2 and how it can be played for players with relatively low-end computers. It wasn't advertised on, on the Battle Pass page at all. If you go to the Dota 2 blog and you go, oh look, a new Venmo, Battle Pass, cool. And you scroll down and suddenly you see it. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is essentially DLSS, NVIDIA's DLSS, but an AMD implementation of it, and Dota 2 has included it with the update to the Battle Pass, and this is huge. What it essentially means is that you can use AMD's Fidelity FX to render Dota 2 at a lower resolution, okay, to increase the number of frames per second that you're getting, and then the Fidelity FX is actually going to improve the visual quality of what you see so that the uh, degradation of the image quality is less noticeable for the average player during gameplay. This is huge! For players with like relatively low-end computers all across the world, okay, you're getting like an extra 30 frames per second for free and it visually looks almost identical. Yeah, if you want to, you know, kind of pinpoint certain things, you do see a little bit. It is the first iteration of Fidelity FX, so I'm sure it'll improve over time. Uh, but the amazing thing about this is DLSS, which is NVIDIA's technology that utilizes their Tensor Cores built in to the 2000 and 3000 series uh, NVIDIA GeForce cards, is only for GeForce and it has to have supported like the game has to support it if you have an AMD card you're out of luck uh, you know and you even even then you have to have very specific series of Nvidia cards AMD has made Fidelity effects available to everybody everybody regardless of your graphics card it works with Nvidia graphics cards it works with AMD graphics cards it works with integrated graphics cards it works with everything and the way it essentially works is here's an example from Terminator so I'm covering it slightly here, uh, but uh, anyways, this is 89 FPS, 89 FPS native. What that means is that when you're rendering the game natively using your graphics card, you're getting 89 FPS in this case. If you go to ultra quality, which means you're running Fidelity FX with ultra quality, you're gonna get 128 FPS. So the visual distinction is gonna be almost identical. And then as you step through the quality towards performance, you're gonna degrade the quality slightly, adding some you know artifacts and blurriness, but you're going to greatly improve the number of frames per second. And the way this works is essentially is that Fidelity FX is taking whatever image that you're rendering in Dota, and then it's going to apply a quality mode depending on kind of like um, you know you know the, whatever Valve has actually kind of implemented in the game. The reason why I say this is because you can't actually select which quality mode you're running currently in Dota, uh, not to my knowledge, anyways. However, you can control the quality by which the game is being rendered. So you're actually taking the uh, the area scale and changing it yourself as the input resolution, and then you're going to be uh, getting a, a specific output resolution dependent on what Valve is implementing in their implementation of Fidelity FX because it is not a feature dependent on your graphics card, it's a feature dependent on the game. It is something that the developers include. So we don't have the opportunity currently to pick which quality setting, but it is certainly being applied based on my test. It looks like we're actually using balanced, but uh, I mean, Valve could come out and say otherwise. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in game, I'm gonna show you how to activate it, and I'm gonna show you some examples of the different uh, qualities between different scenes. All right, so we're in a demo lobby here and I'm going to show you how to activate AMD's Fidelity FX within Dota 2. So what you can do is you're going to go to video tab uh, after you click on your settings and you're going to notice right here that uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution is now available under the game screen render quality setting. Um, now I run everything at 1440p at 144 hertz uh, but what you'll notice is that it requires anti-aliasing to be active and it also requires direct 3D or Vulkan to be active. Now the way this works is once you adjust the game screen render quality, right? So this is this is full quality, full resolution, okay? If you actually render it to 40%, you'll notice that, well, the game looks like this. Not great, okay? Now what you can do now is now that I'm using a custom uh, game screen render quality, I can actually activate Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which will then make an improvement on the actual quality. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut you quietly to a comparison of different modes available and different combinations of Fidelity FX with different game screen render qualities and I'm gonna leave it to you to decide which is which.
Are you ready for the results? Here they are. Surprised? It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Now here's a set of four for you to compare. And as you'll see, the native 1440p and the 75% render with Fidelity FX are actually pretty close. And you'll also note that the 75% render with Fidelity FX is significantly sharper and like better looking than the 75% render only. And when you look at the 40%, you can see that the 40% is really rough compared to what Fidelity FX is able to produce. And I think that the 75% render with Fidelity FX is probably the sweet spot for most players. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that this little quick guide helped you to identify one of the best new features that was added to Dota 2 quietly in the background that'll help you get additional frames per second. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers. We will see you guys in the next video.